What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we head into Japan for our next race in the F124 career mode with Daniel Ricardo. But before we get into the race we do have one little meeting to have. That's right, we've got our first secret meeting. So let's see which team wants us. So it's kick. Interesting. Kick Sauber. Meeting with Kick Sauber. Kick Sauber are here because they view as a potential addition to the team. They've provided us up some information, so let's take a minute to review. Constructors. Valtteri. Four points. Jaw one. Again, at the minute, the kick car is pretty quick. But is it the right move for us in terms of moving? Of course, we're at the bottom of the pile right now. And we definitely would be in a better position with Kick, but I am going to decline. And say thanks, but no thanks. Didn't really feel necessary hey, hey, just a quick one to move. Me. The team are pleased that you've declined that meeting. Gold star, brownie points, etc., etc. I guess we'll see if anything else more exciting comes calling. But let's focus on our current seat for now. So the team are happy with what we've done in terms of rejecting the meeting, which I guess is obviously uh, a pretty good thing to see. Of course, you can see Sonora's got a couple of upgrades coming in terms of improved materials, secondary wing flaps, and a cylinder head. So his car is going to be much better than ours, it looks like. In terms of where we're performing, with the upgrades that are coming, we're going to be jumping above Alpine, but we do have some points that we can spend now. So we may as well add some more aerodynamic parts. We can get them in time potentially for the Japanese Grand Prix. Or we can wait until China, which I think we'll do. Chassis wise, not quite enough for the cable assembly. And yeah, we'll have to wait to see if anything else comes along. But we've got a few upgrades coming on the car now. So hopefully it's a sign of things to come. But anyway, like I was saying, let's get into the race weekend. And first off, let's see if these upgrades actually go on, actually. So he gets the improved materials. He gets the secondary wind flaps and the cylinder head. So what does that mean? So we do go above Alpine. And now we're getting pretty close to the team that's just wanted to sign us. So let's see if this boosts our pace if this actually results in a more stable car again we've been doing some practice in in japan so hopefully it'll pay off a few dividends there but yeah let's see how we do in practice so there you can see big upgrades coming this weekend and they've been fitted so we're going to get some new aero a bit more durability on the gearbox and the cylinder head gives us a bit more engine power as well so let's see what happens when we head into the weekend. If we're anywhere near kick, then we should be near points. So let's get into the practice and see how the car feels. Doesn't feel as slidey. Feels okay, to be fair. Feels a bit more grounded. Feels like it's going to stick to corners. So it does feel a little bit better in terms of the aero. Again, my driving on controller isn't exactly showing it at the minute, but it feels okay. Yeah, definitely an improvement. It's a proper old school track, Suzuka. There's lots to it that you've got to balance. And already up a second on the target that we're supposed to hit. Just got to hold your throttle down there through this corner. 
Maybe two seconds up. And there we go. Across the line. First lap of practice done. And we smashed it. Absolutely smashed that target time. So let's get the rest of these laps in. And I'll come back to you and tell you how we've done. So we got through the first round of practice and pretty much smashed it out. And average lap time was about 133.179. But I think it would have been in the 132s if it, we hadn't made a couple of wobbles in the last lap. But in terms of our times overall, again, only 10 for sort off Sergio. So again, 10, a tenth off a Red Bull. You can't exactly complain with that. But again, we've got to go put it in to qualifying. So I'm going to get the rest of practice done, get ready for Japan, and hopefully we can smash out the qualifying and have a good quality lap. Here we go then, folks. It is the full qualifying lap. Let's see how we do. Again, we had a good start to the qualifying in, in Australia, sorry, where we were second at one point in the lap. Let's see if we can do something similar again. Again, putting in some consistent times, getting ourselves into the top 10 in practice. But again, it all comes down to today and how well we can put a lap together. And again, just struggling to put the lap together. Making a few mistakes here or there. But it does feel better, the car, I have to say. In comparison to what we've had over the past few weekends. I'm just going to try and drain this ERS now to try and get us up there. Got to try and get the chicane right now. And a 131.5, I think, in the end. And that gets us 14th. And, again, about a second quicker than what we were seeing in practice when we put it all together. But, again, pace just not there. A couple of silly mistakes, and it drops us down the grid. How far away? Three tenths off the top ten. And, again, kick the ones in the way. Four hundredths off Albon. And where did Yuki end up in the end? So Yuki was four tenths behind us. So again, still beating Yuki. Again, doing the bare minimum um, and helping us. Helping ourselves, really, to uh, to keep ourselves in the good books of our team. But we've got a pace going up to 83. So another bit of a boost there to the rating, which is always good to see. But... Let's see what we can do in the race and see if we can make up some positions and, more importantly, stay mistake-free. I don't know if medium or hards is maybe the right way to go. It's still six tenths quicker to go soft-medium. It's going to have to be a hell of a stint, though. Well, let's go with it. Let's see what they say. Or do what they say, I should say. We're going to be on softs. And let's see how the start goes. Bit of a slow response. And we've already got some order. Up our back ends. Just got to stay out of trouble here. First couple of laps. A bit of a tap with Joe. But apart from that, could have been a lot worse. Okay, it's because of the twisty nature at the start, I always find it dead tricky to to navigate when there's so many cars around at the beginning. But we're doing okay at the minute. Up in front of Albon, who's in 14th at the minute. Heading to the hairpin, going down the inside of Joe. Oh, maybe he knows about that secret meeting. <laughs> Trying to 
hang this around the out inside. And we get ourselves in front of Joe. So Stroll's up next. Bottas has made a few places, clearly. Because a few of those guys were in the top 10 after qualifying. But Joe's coming back. And he's right in my back end, pushing my right up me. And we hold the position for now. And you can see Bottas there making some making some inroads and kick really having a great start to the season. It's exactly what they would have dreamt up. And we go into lap two. We're coming to the back end of lap two. We are just gonna be behind the stroll but we're just going to be out of DRS territory I think yep just out of DRS and Joe is going to be right on our tail don't have much DRS to defend with in the first place again just trying to do my best not to get in his way and knock him out the way but again so far, so good. No mistakes or anything like that. Just the kicks are just that little bit quicker than us, and it's making it more difficult to uh, keep ourselves in contention with them. But I'm hoping we can stay within a second of Joe and let him pull us up with a bit of help from the DRS. It's a bit of DRS, hopefully, to help us keep Albon off our back. But, again, it's trying to get up to, to Joe. That's the most important thing. And we're doing well to hang with him. But, again, the tyres are going to go off. And we saw in Australia, once the tyres started wearing off, how bad it can get for us with grip. But we do have better aero now. So, let's see what we do. As we just go rolling slightly off that kerb. Again, heading into lap four, five now, I should say. And DRS is deployed, but... Again, not really making up much time with the DRS being deployed. And uh, we have caught up, though, there with Joe. Albon's still on our tails, of course, because why wouldn't you be? And, uh, yeah, just trying to keep the car as close as we can to our rivals. And out the table in air as well, because that won't be helping the tyres and their feeling. Lost a bit of time there to Joe after a couple of sloppy corners. Now we've got Albon going right down the inside here. Doing our best not to take him out or anything like that. Just trying to play nice and clean. But we managed to stick it and keep our noses in front and keeping the DRS of Joe as well. So we head into lap six. Can just start to feel the tyres feeling a little bit looser now. Despite the uh, decent times we're putting in. You can see Albon now just getting his nose in front in that high speed corner. Again, going deep on the on the curbs there, but we managed to make it stick. That was a great overtake back. Now I've got DRS to try and keep our nose in front for now. And we are pushing now to get in for the pits on lap 7. Again, the tyres do feel incredibly loose. Don't feel like they're sticking to the road as much. It's, again, that throttle becomes even more sensitive once the tyres lose the weight. But again, only a second or so offshore. And that's the state of the tyres at the minute after seven laps. And that tells you all you need to know, really. Here we go then. Through the chicane. And into the pits we go. So let's see where we're at. You can see a couple of the front runners there. All coming out now. Come through and get onto the mediums. Put us in in front of us as well. Just got to try and make this out lap as quick as possible, because that's when Joe will be coming in as well as Yuki. So 
Let's cut, see how we go. So Yuki's now in the pits. And he wasn't far behind us and Albon, so it's going to be tight, I think. I think he might just be in front by the time we get by that pit lane. Let's see how we do on this one. Gasly still in the pits. Hulkenberg still in the pits. We might just get in front of Joe. And we do. So Joe in the pits as well. So that will put us up. That'll put us in a decent position to try and get Albon as well. So we may, depending on what's happened in front of us, be in 12th or 11th. Which would be... I know it's not quite points, but it would still be our best finishing position so far. But of course, we've still got 10 or so laps to go, so we can't get too ahead of ourselves yet. Just coming in at the end of lap 9, let's see how our time looks. Yeah. Beat the time objective, so that's good. Albon coming in for hards, and we get by. So that puts us up to 13th. So I'm just wondering who else there is to pit, really. Can't be anyone else in front to pit, surely, unless someone's doing an extra long stint. Unless someone's doing a medium soft stint, of course, like we're doing. Again, just got to focus on the task at hand. There's a two-second gap. And, of course, Alvin's going to have fresh tyres at the end. Again, let's pump in some laps and see where we are in a few laps' time. So, again, we've got Russell in front of us and the engineers telling us to keep an eye on that gap, but I don't realistically see us closing that down. We aren't that quick, unfortunately. But we have been consistent today, which is a good step up for us. The cars felt a lot more stable. Still had its moments every now and then. Still sliding around a little bit. But it's definitely an improvement on what we've had in these first few races. So long may that continue. And Joe is just starting to clip that time down a little bit. So we have to keep an eye on that. So again, heading towards the end of lap 12 now. Gap is about 1.2 seconds. Again, still feeling good with the car. Tires still feel all right. My concern is when they start to drop off a little bit. Do we lose a little bit of that pace that we had early on on this stint? Again, just trying to keep Joe out of this DRS. And now heading into the last lap. Oh, not last lap, sorry. This latest lap. So we've made a bit of a mistake there with the tyres and Joe now is going to be all over us. And there he goes. DRS is open. And it may not be the worst idea to try and stick behind Joe for a little bit. Just try and keep in his DRS. Although he is pulling away. Just to try and... Uh, Keep Albon behind us, I think. That's got to be the main objective now, because I think our tyres are going to start feeling it in a, a couple of laps. We just slid a little bit there. Again, that consistency we've seen over the first 12 or so laps has started to disappear a little bit. And maybe going on some longer stint tyres and doing a medium or hard might have been the better option. Again, still work to do. Still plenty of time left. Just got to keep our heads down and keep her cool. Again, very close to Joe now. Albon, very close to us. It's got the makings of a massive, massive calamity or a great race. We are involved, and that's why it could be either of the two. <laughs> Trying to pump in some. I just, I'm not even looking at the times right now. I'm just trying to make the coloring, the speeds, everything like that, just as consistent as we can. 
so that we get that feel for the car that we're going. And we haven't totally ruined the tyres either. The tyres are looking okay. Still got three or four laps to go. And again, it's gonna Albon's going to push right at the end. And we just need to make sure we've got the ERS stocked up in time for him. And again, just holding it together there. I didn't think Albon probably had to stay out of the way there. Otherwise, he was going to get tangled up and have a bit of damage. Now, trying to look down the inside. That is not a turn you want to look down the inside of. But Albon's con round the outside and he bumps into us. I don't know if that was the move to make there, Alex. But that's the move he went for. And we managed to somehow hold on to 13th. Oh, as we drift there. And just got to get our heads down, get back into that consist consistent flow we were in. And we might get one more opportunity at Joe, I think. Again, heading into this high speed corner now. Going into the chicane, trying to outbreak Joe, and we do it. And we get the DRS as well. Again, we've used that chicane a couple of times now to try and make an overtake. And now I've got three more laps to try and get through. And try and uh, see where we end up. Albon's been overtaken by Ocon as well, so that's another problem. But again, still being competitive in the latter laps, not sliding around as much. Still plenty of time for that to change, though. And here he comes now, Joe, leading the charge again. Going around the outside of him to try and stay in front. And again, going into the chicane, defending it pretty well. These are the laps we're in now. The final two laps. It all comes down to this. I know we're not fighting for points, but at least we're fighting for something this time. You can see everyone bunching up behind us with the DRS. And who fancies a go, I guess, is the uh, answer. And it's sure. And now you've got Ocon and Albon behind, so we may get one more opportunity to overtake him. And we'll have to see if we can make it count. It's been a backwards and forwards fight, no doubt about it. But at least we've been in a fight this time. And Ocon's now coming up the side of us. Head into that chicane again. And we might get one more opportunity to try and make an overtake. We may not even be in the conversation though, because Joe's pulling away yet. And thankfully we've got the DRS, but we ain't going to have it at any other point in this lap. So if we're going to make an overtake happen, it's going to be on that chicane again, I think. But we've just wobbled a little bit there and the tyre's starting to feel it. Up to 30% across the board. Still only 6 tenths though, and we've got a bit of ERS to use. So that may come into play. Look for it around the outside there, but probably a bit too ambitious. Again, just got to use this ERS now. Try and get ourselves as close as possible to Joe. Again, picking up the speed here. Are we going to go around the outside in the chicane? And we managed to make the overtake right on that last corner. We've done it to Gasly, and now we've done it to Joe, and we'll take 12. Um, 
It may not have been the most thrilling of races, but at least we've picked up a couple of places from where we started and stayed out of trouble. I know there was a couple of clashes at the start, but nothing that really uh, causes any damage or caused our opponents to have any damage either. So at least we've got that. Uh, there's a bit more consistency now in the car, so now it's trying to build on that and take it into the next few races. And in terms of the standings, you've still got Max out in front on 90 points. Carlos and Charles separated by a point in second and third. Constructors-wise, we're still eighth. Again, four teams not scoring points yet. So again, those teams that do score points early, it'll probably make a big difference to them throughout the course of the season. But I hope you've enjoyed the episode, folks. If you have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. And as always, have a great day.